All right, Kiala, I just wanted to show you real quick here what I have going for you for this update on your membership area. So um, let's log in here real quick as if we are a new new student coming into your program. And we'll just go k1 at gmail.com just to make up a user. So we're going to create our account. And once we come in here now, what I did is I put the previous, next, and the mark as completed at the top. Uh, that way I built it in so we don't have to go into every single lesson like we built down here, which we shouldn't have done in hindsight, but this didn't match what you wanted it to look like, so that's why I built it like this. But it's better off we'll have it as a separate section up here at the top, previous, next. You can leave the previous, next in the lessons that you already have existing. It's just uh, redundancy. And now here we are on the very first lesson, and what you see here is I put in these little check marks along the right-hand side, along with the little play buttons you had on the left. And as we change lessons and come down here, you see it highlights, um, it makes it a little bit darker. Just again, basically, as you recall, we were just basically cloning Kajabi on this build right here. And so that's where we are. So now if we want to say that this one is complete, we mark as complete. And the little check mark becomes bigger and green. And then we can, of course, hit our next lesson if we want. And we can mark that one as complete. Or we can just come over here, of course, to the left. And we can mark this one as complete as well. And then let's say the second one, we don't want that one completed anymore. We will uncheck that as well. We can go to the fourth one. And we can mark that one as complete. Now what's going to happen here is let's log out. And we'll click there. And we will log out. And then we will come back in. And everything should be there. Let's uh, cross our fingers. Hopefully uh, everything is working just fine. And what we really should do is put a delay on here too as that loads instead of having a be bopping around on the screen. Um, we can uh, delay that so it um, waits till the page completely loads before it shows. And as you see here, we got one, three, and four checked for this individual and if we go to the next lesson we can do the same and keep checking and unchecking to our heart's desire and again as we leave it will save all that information load it back up the next time the person comes in now the other thing let me show you real quick is in mobile so let me click on inspect here and we will come over here and we will put this into mobile view and so in mobile view we have our we have just a black bar across the top as we had before and when you click on that it will slide in the lessons from the left and we can open up all these lessons down here we can scroll up and down to see all the lessons and of course the same functionality works here except i put the the bar down at the bottom so we are on our first lesson right now i can mark that as complete right here on mobile I can also do my previous next. And when I click on the previous next, it is going from lesson to lesson. It's just that um, all the templates in here I have are basically the same. Um, when I click that, it does not open the sidebar, of course. It just goes from one lesson to the next. And you can see we've come down here now to this lesson because it is highlighted right there. And then also, if we were in here and we were to scroll, so actually, I think I have to click on a lesson first. So if we were to scroll now, okay, wait, this one isn't long enough. Let me go find one that is long enough. Let's go back to the first lesson. That one's really long. So now if we scroll, you're going to see this top header with the um, menu button at the top stays in place. And also the uh, side, um, the bottom part here stays in place. And I put enough padding uh, at the bottom here. So no matter how long this is, there should always be some room at the bottom. So um, none of the content stays behind that lower bar. And then also in the in the sidebar, again, we can scroll this up and down so you can see that in its entirety as well. And so there you go. I think it actually turned out pretty nice in the mobile version as well as the desktop version. I think it um, looks really, really good at this point and is exactly the Kajabi clone that you wanted. And I'm not sure if Kajabi has any other... Uh, any other tricks that they do that you wanted to put in here. But if so, let me know and we'll, uh, we'll talk about that then. So, um, oh, and I was going to say the one thing is in order for me, 
Uh, the best thing, I think, instead of just giving this to you, the best thing for me is to take your existing site and have me just go in there and uh, put in the updates in there. So in order to do that, you're going to need to give me your username and password sometime next week. And I'll do it uh, late after. I'll do it late, yeah, late, late afternoon my time, which will be midnight or so your time over in Europe. And so I don't think you're going to have a whole lot of people that I'll be disrupting if... Uh, if you know it goes down for a few minutes or something, so uh, just get a hold of me, uh, let me know on that, and then, like I said, I'll uh, get to work on it sometime next week and get you all fixed up there.